DJ's Brew Tube Beer Review. And here, Johnny's right here waiting for us because he knows I'm always loud. That's right. Beer time. That's and since um no. Johnny and I are kind of hicks and we can't speak none of that fancy French language, we got us a kidnapped person from the other side a, of that pond. A real life actual Frenchman that's speaking some Frenches. Take it away, Philippe. Ha. Huh. Oh, uh, dude. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what beer do we have for us today, Philippe? Ah, aujourd'hui, avec les bons vœux de la Brasserie du Pont, qui vient de Tourpeleuse, Abbaye de la Moinette. Exactly. Yeah, I was going to say that, but with a better <laughs> French accent. <laughs> See, remember guys, if you can't do it yourself, you just find someone who can, because beer unites us all. And if you give free beer, it's but not too much of a cost. You got, you got a stunt drinker and a stunt freshman. Hey, <laughs> that's right. And then the beer geek here sitting stuck in the middle. So, we got our fancy beer from DuPont. And, and I got the Santa Claus things again. We've been forced, <laughs> they've been forced upon us. Johnny likes the Santa Claus things because he's evil. Ho, ho, ho. So, this is a 2011 vintage that I've cellared lovingly. Hopefully, it will be better. And we'll open our fancy cork and cage here. Now, usually, Johnny and I aren't this highbrow for some uh, cork and cage action, but just oh, since. We are. Well, we <laughs> got a whole box of it. Yeah, well, we just don't work it for some reason. So, because we're saving it. Sometimes with these, the corks will climb up on you, but we'll see. <laughs> Two that points! Is, that is what a year of celery said beer cider, which is Saison, for two Rick, years actually, will get you. And ricocheting off the ladder. Yes. So, Johnny, tell us, uh, you've had this beer before. What did you think about it back when you had it, if you can remember? Well, just like the last beer that we had, <laughs> I liked it. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't remember it, but I liked it. I, I, why, why don't you remember, Johnny? Were you stunt drinking that day? Did I drink this solo or did I drink I, it? I think, I think you I drank, drank the solo. entire bottle oh, by I yourself. I drink the whole bottle. Yeah, yeah, but it's only 9.5 ABV. Yeah, you're... It's a saison. It's available in the winter. Um, we got 28 IBUs. So I'm going to do my best French accent. And, wow, look at that. Uh, yep, yeah, so there we go. We've got all that geek stuff out of the way. So, it pours... What? Yes, I sorry. I had to, I had to uninsert myself. It pours it the it back into the condom. No. Santa condom. <laughs> no. Paul would like this. I don't. Paul, you, you would you would like to insert it into Santa, wouldn't you, Paul? Mm. Especially after that hot tub review you did just for Johnny. My eyes. I'm so <laughs> blind. My so, eyes. We have a nice hazy sort of golden color here. Solid uh, one finger head, super tight white bubbles. You swirl it. Plenty of clingy glass lacing, lots of alcohol legs. Really nice looking beer in the glass. Really stereotypic for the style. No yeast flows in this, so I poured it good. Yeah, you, you, well, you still got more in the bottle, but yes. as you said, you know, tons of yeast in here. Um, cellar, what, two years basically. We got it, some good carb still left. I guess obviously unfiltered, because if it's sat for two yeah. years and it's hazy like this, yep. so it's gonna nose on it. I already tasted it. Of course you did. He never waits for us. He just, he just starts <laughs> chugging. Taste-wise, it's very good. It's kind of, it, again, mm. dry champagne-like taste. Sparkling wine, champagne, whatever you want to say. Um, smells a lot like champagne. Yeah, but it, it's yeah. very easy on the tongue, not harsh. I almost get a lemon taste out of it. How's the scent, guys? <laughs> <laughs> so it's always the way. It's um I get a lot I get a lot of like wine like characters, a lot of grape, it's real vinous on the nose. That's Johnny's favorite word by the way, vinous. Um no, it was a, a bit of lemon, <laughs> I get a bit of the yeast too, a little funkiness from the yeast as well. And it smells like sweet, but it's got a tartness to it. I get in a the lot undertone. Of the, I get a lot of the lemon. Mm-hmm. See what it tastes like. Good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The first thing that hits me off the bat is the Belgian carbonation in this beer. It's got a real bright, zippy carbonation that after you drink it, it kind of cleanses your palate. But this is a lot like drinking um, like a white wine, but it's got a bigger inherent sweetness to me. The grapes in there, the lemon, the sort of funk from the yeast, 
but that inherent sweetness kind of combines it, but it's not cloying in any way, but even like a dry finish kind of. Oh, it's it's dry mm -hmm. for me all along the way, it, almost like a dry brute, uh, sparkling wine, champagne, something. I, mean, I like it. I think sometimes they call this kind of a saison like a provision beer. That they, because they could they brewed it to higher ABV back in the day, so it was like a provision, something you could store for a longer time than a normal one. Because usually they run around like like anywhere from like 2.9 up to 6% alcohol, and this is a nine and a half percent, so much bigger. What flavors do you get off of it? Mm. That's a new flavor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. A little bit honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sweetness, yeah. The sweetness, uh, long finish, a little bit bitter in the, in the back of your mouth, mm -hmm. and uh, the finish, light, pretty strong, but light. Yes. Do, you, do, you feel the, do you feel the alcohol when you drink it? A little bit, yeah. But, but not, not so present, actually. Considering, I guess, what it is at like nine and a half, it's pretty well hidden. Yeah, yeah. I guess that it has a nice mouthfeel. It's like a medium mouthfeel, but the the carbonation is real snappy in this. It's sort of like um, it's like champagne that has hops in it, almost, and like a malt character, I guess. You know, but this is a very easy drinking beer. I mean, you could get yourself in trouble with this beer if you drank it too fast at, at oh, this yeah. percentage. How was it, Johnny, when you drank it fast at this percentage? Very good. <laughs> Don't remember. So it has some mind eraser characters. No, I, I mean, I, you know, I, I kind of do have some recollection of this. Mm -hmm. It's on my phone. That's where the recollection <laughs> is. It's a the photo. photo. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> See that? You were all excited. You thought you were going to get some beer geek wisdom, but no, don't get too excited. The nope. sun trigger is not giving you that. And the only problem is it's like on a mini card. And, and I can't get those off you, my you old Blackberry. I have them on my phone. You, you, you have them all excited there, Johnny. Like, oh, damn. Johnny's going to tell He's going to speak some words of wisdom. No. No. <laughs> not, not likely. So, you heard words from wisdom, uh, right, Martin right, Philly right. and I today. <sighs> but, um, yes. Now, here's a question. Would you drink this again? Taste it now in oh, this yeah. cellar state. I would say, do you have another bottle? Can we crack it open on New Year's? <laughs> Actually, I do have another bottle. <laughs> I mean, like it says, you know, enjoy it on the welcome in the new year. This is definitely a champagne like. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. I, you know, I I don't know how much more developed it could get, except maybe more carbonated yeah. over another year. I, I I think I don't know. It, it to me, it's reached a peak. Yeah, it's it's drinking wise. really nice right yeah. now. It has a really good balance in it. It's like not too sweet. If there's not too much bitter. It has that nice tartness in the back end, and like Philippe was saying, that nice honey characteristic, and a long finish. I I don't. I think this is about where you could drink, you could put more time on it, it would stay fine in the bottle. And it's two years. So. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's two years. I mean, I, I, the only reason I didn't drink this is because I forgot I had it in my beer hoard. Not that I would ever hoard beer. <laughs> no, we don't. No, of course not. Well, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Anyways, <laughs> maybe one day you'll see us on a TV show called Hoarders and trying to save us from being beer hoarders. But the good thing is anyone who would help us clean up would be really happy because they'd be drunk from cleaning our hoard up. There you go. So, <laughs> we, we, we would be bitching about them throwing things out. No, don't throw that beer! No, that's a good vintage. <laughs> See, that you moved, you turn the light back on. We got a motion sensor light. <laughs> so, we're in the garage, come on. What do, you, what do you grade this one? Okay, well, our buddies at Rate Beer, of course, Fresh, they gave it a 99. Mm -hmm. uh, beer Advocate Fresh, they gave it a 93. Um, it's a Saison. Um, I've had several of them. I think this is one of the top ones out there. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go 91. 91? 91. So he's in the A minus range? Yeah. I, I really like this. I remember when it was fresh in my memory. Okay, and my memory tells me. Flash card. Yeah, exactly. It was my memory tells me it was when it was a lot more green when it was young. It had a lot more bite to it, and I like how it's mellowed out. But I'm I'm pretty I'm gonna go with the same grade as John. I think it's an A minus beer. It's really drinkable, and that's about what like beer out gets given like a 93 when it's fresh. The difference is now it's a smoother version of what it was new, and. It hasn't degraded any, which sometimes happens when you sell a beer, especially, you know, luckily I blocked this from the light because green bottles are horrible for them. But, Philippe? Yeah, 
I think it's a very good beer, and uh, but the test is a little bit discreet. I think, yeah, maybe it has vanished a little bit. I would put, yeah, 90. 90? 90. 90. So, yeah. So, we're, it's, we're all right around. I'm about the same. Yeah. See that consensus of minds? Plus, we've just fled all the women who were really noisy upstairs. So, anything's going to taste really fucking good right about now <laughs> after we've been assaulted in your ears. So, to the next time, guys, we got to remember something really important. we got to think locally. we got to drink locally. we got to support the craft beer movement. And, and this time, since... um. You know, we're, we have our French speaker here. We'll let them say goodbye in French and Happy New Year or something. Yes, whatever you want. Oh, we oh, want hey, but then it... <laughs> There you go. Can you say peace out in French? Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Lost the <in> translation. <laughs> peace out.